Hello, and welcome to the Demoette series for TIBCO Data Virtualization, or TDV. In this Demoette, we discuss data lineage reporting in TDV. Here is our agenda. We begin by defining data lineage reporting and outlining its importance for our customers. Next, we walk through a very basic demo of data lineage reporting. Finally, we summarize the contents of this demoette. Let's begin by discussing what data lineage reporting is and why it is important for our customers. TDV developers are familiar with the data lineage graph that can be displayed for any resource in TDV Studio. In contrast, data lineage reporting is a way to produce lineage analysis reports that may include many TDV resources. TDV ships with two stored procedures that form the basis of its data lineage reporting capability. Get column dependencies provides a column by column report of the upstream data lineage of a TDV resource. Get column references provides a similar report of downstream data lineage. These procedures are great for reporting on any individual resource. As we shall see in this demoette, however, we can write some very simple SQL scripts that allow us to build reports on meaningful groups of resources, and we can define these groups in any way that matters to our business. Data lineage reporting is important to our customers for many reasons. First of all, it enables impact analysis, as organizations seek to understand the overall enterprise impact of schema changes on underlying physical data sources. Lineage reporting may also be used for other purposes, such as uncovering TDV artifacts that may be reusable across projects, or for data curation efforts. Lineage data may also be used as input to third-party software, such as report generators. Next, let's walk through a very basic demo of data lineage reporting. Here is the business problem we are trying to solve in this demoette. Our TDV developers can use the graphical lineage view in TDV Studio to understand lineage for any given resource they need to touch. This is sufficient for their purposes. However, project managers need to take a larger view, especially to do impact analysis on schema changes to underlying data sources over time. These people need a single view of lineage data that spans all the resources in a TDV Studio project level folder, and they need it in a form that is easy to share, like the Excel spreadsheet shown here. Before you begin the demo, you will need to install the CAR file that is found in the additional resources that accompany the demo. This demo uses TDV system tables and the example views that ship with the product, so there is no need for any external data sources. The CAR file consists of four scripts and a view. There are two very simple scripts that show how we can report dependencies and references for an individual resource. We also have two more interesting scripts that show how we can report on a group of TDV resources. Finally, we have a view that we use to provide a list of resources to our multiple resource scripts. Let's begin our demo by seeing how we can call the dependencies stored procedure for a single resource. We have written a very simple script whose signature is shown here. Our script accepts an input parameter that names the fully qualified TDV resource we want to analyze. We also provide two other parameters required by the dependencies procedure. The first tells whether or not we want to ignore caches in our analysis and the second specifies whether or not we want to perform recursive analysis along the entire dependencies chain. The script returns an output result set defined by the dependencies procedure. You can find the meaning of each column on the info tab of the dependencies procedure. Note that the TDV dependencies procedure only analyzes views. It does not accept requests to analyze folders, SQL scripts, or other resource types. At runtime, we enter the parameters for a single resource and execute our script. The script returns a result set with run one row for each column in the resource we specified. Here is a view of a single row from our results. The derivations column is especially interesting. 
it gives us a complete description of the trail from our resource back to the original data source. Of course, we could save the result set to a file and open it in Excel if we wanted to share the information with non-TDV users. Our single resource script for references is similar to that for dependencies. TDV's dependencies procedure is a bit simpler, so we only need to supply the name of the resource we want to analyze. At runtime, we enter the name of a view. A result set is returned with one row for each column in the view. We can drill down on details for any row. At this point, we have seen how we can use very simple scripts to call the dependencies and references procedures in TDV. However, we still haven't solved our business problem because our project managers want to create reports containing groups of TDV views. Let's solve this problem next. We want to build lineage scripts that can accept a parameter list containing all of the view names for a report. This parameter view might come from an Excel spreadsheet or from any other source. We need to be able to accept any view that contains a fully qualified resource name. Here is an example that we will use for this demo. This example creates a filtered view from the TDV system table, All Resources. We filter all resources so that our view only returns tables from the shared examples folder in the TDV namespace. Remember that when TDV views are published, they are exposed as tables, so the TDV system data uses the term table. Our resources, however, are actually TDV virtual views. Finally, we generate a fully qualified resource name column by concatenating the path and name columns for each selected view. When we execute this view, we get information about all of the views in the shared examples folder that ships with TDV. We will use our generated column fully qualified resource name as input to our new scripts. Here is the signature for our new general purpose dependency script. As you can see, it returns the same data structure as our earlier script. However, instead of accepting a single input view name, it accepts the name of a view that contains a list of views we want to analyze. It also accepts the column name we want to use within that view that contains the fully qualified resource names. Our new script builds a dynamic SQL statement using the view name and column name we supplied as input parameters. It then iterates over the results and calls the dependencies procedure once for each view in our parameter result set. As our results tab shows, we get a single report that contains lineage analysis for all of the tables in our parameter view. We can save the results to a file and open it in Excel for sharing and further analysis. Our new references script is similar to the dependencies script. It accepts a view name and column name for any view that contains a list of resources to be analyzed. When we execute the procedure, we get reference analysis for all of the views in our parameter set. Our project managers now have all the information they need to do impact analysis at the project level. Our demo is complete. Let's summarize what we have seen in this presentation. TDV ships with two stored procedures that form the basis of its data lineage reporting capability. Get column dependencies provides a column by column report of the upstream data lineage of a TDV resource. Get column references provides a similar report of downstream data lineage. As we have seen, it is easy to build SQL scripts that allow us to report on meaningful groups of resources, and we can define these groups in any way that matters to our business. Data lineage reporting is important to our customers for many reasons. First of all, it enables impact analysis, as organizations seek to understand the overall enterprise impact of schema changes on underlying physical data sources. Lineage reporting may also be used for other purposes, such as uncovering TDV artifacts that may be reusable across projects or for data curation efforts. Lineage data may also be used as input to third-party software, such as report generators. Thank you.